The Taylor Swift fan union offers fan workers the ability to collectively bargain for a creative vision of Taylor Swift that better aligns with our shared values. The TSFU also demands the recognition of our labor through compensation and health benefits. Yeah, this is a meme for the record, but a good one regardless. Um, this is probably Brad Trammell. It, it reads like a Brad Trammell meme. Anytime you see fucking people uh, writing stuff like this. By the way, this is actually a community meme. This is like probably one of the oldest memes we have in this community since I had like 35 fans. Uh, chatters being like, we're unionizing and we're actively going to change the brand that we have created, that we've cultivated. Holy shit, you called it? I mean, I, I can... Yeah, it is. Yep, there you go. It's Brad Trammell again. Give the fans conservatorship Good over Taylor. Australia. Recently, many fan workers were harmed by Taylor's unilateral decision to date an alt-right extremist without union consultation. The TSFU unequivocally stands against hate and will work towards a future where this kind of workplace violence never happens again. To maintain accountability to fan values, we propose a seasonal meeting between Swift, her management, and elected TSFU representatives to come to a collective agreement on matters relating to her future musical output, social life, touring schedule, commercial endorsements, and fan availability. Why can't I click on this? Oh, I'm moving it. Hold on. As fan workers who've decided countless hours... Uh, who have dedicated countless hours to studying and constructively criticizing Taylor's celebrity, we are uniquely well-positioned to offer creative suggestions for her career moving forward. Who better than fan workers to determine what fan workers want and need? I like that it's over this flag as well. It's like a, a nod to the Gaylers. The TSFU also seeks remuneration for previously uncompensated promotional labor. This includes fan workers' fair share of revenue for album sales, streams, merchandise, and concert tickets, none of which would be possible without the labor of the TSFU. Many fan workers are still processing the trauma of Taylor's associations with the alt-right despite her previous commitment to BIPOC and LGBTQIAA 2S plus allyship. The TSFU looks to establish emergency mental health services for all of those still suffering, including therapy and hospitalization costs. You should not know what a Gaylor is. My co-host is a Swifty. Of course I know what a Gaylor is. I'm a good friend. And also, I'm an ally to white women, okay? By joining the United Musicians and Allied Workers, the TSFU looks to become the first formerly recognized fan union in history, revolutionizing, revolutionizing labor uh, uh, relations between fan workers and the celebrities they've labored to create. Now is our moment to end exploitation and create equitable representation for Swifties everywhere. By the way, I love Brad because I love Brad because like he is so good. He, much like myself, recognizes that this is where the creativity is. Okay? I've talked about this so many times about how like the real interesting stuff, I think the real creative and like crazy stuff unironically comes from like that Tumblr um, that Tumblr, like, uh, misrepresenting, uh, mis misunderstanding of, like, intersectional politics. Kyle looks and, so comfy hassle. And I personally love this kind of shit because I think it's significantly more interesting and more unique than, like, 90% of what, you know, comedy writers are writing for the most part. Okay? And um, it's great. I love it. I love, like, I hate it, Paul. No, I don't think it's... Like 4chan kick? No, 4chan could never be this fucking funny. That's the difference. That's the difference. This is a person who is a leftist who perfectly understands like how that Tumblr style humor, uh, or not the humor, sorry, how how serious uh, this like uh, uh, Tumblr style politics uh, is, like how neoliberalism is basically commodified, like actual previously. Uh, radical uh, political movements and uh, for for completely ridiculous things, okay? Tumblr is like, 
just t- Tumblr peak, uh, not Tumblr, 4chan peak humor is saying the F word and the N word and, uh, and, and fucking, uh, you know, claiming that like pedophiles are a part of the LGBTQ. That's like, that's not necessarily revolutionary humor. Okay. That's not new. But this is a great bit. It's a great bit because, like, I love that this person didn't even understand that this was a joke. No, because conservatorship is misogynistic. As a labor union, all we're asking for is the formalized right to make financial and social decisions on behalf of the celebrity we feel a rightful sense of ownership over by compelling her to preemptively seek our approval for the decisions she makes uh, in her life slash career. This is about empowering fan workers and giving back to the community for greater inclusivity. The irony is, like, the irony is, like, this is what some stands do want unironically even including in my community there's like people who probably fucking feel like this sometimes no nah, 1000 percent. this is another joke i know it's a joke i know the fucking person who i know the person who made this joke i've covered him a lot on this broadcast this is three years old. Bombshell. Unionization contract found on Hassan's porch. Subreddit unionization. Buy in between the members of r slash OK Buddy and Hassan Piker. Effective July 5th, 2020 through July 5th, 2021. Yeah, we did this joke. We did this meme like fucking three years ago or four years ago. Members of r slash OK Buddy Hassan unanimously agree that Hassan Piker has exploded countless members. Co- cooperation between the two parties will be to raise the standards and quality of content, working conditions, and benefits. Resolving differences may be done between union members and leaders, Hassan Piker, and external unaffiliated mediators. The goal is for r slash OK Buddy Hassan members and Hassan Piker to work together harmoniously to be treated equally and for dignity and respect to be restored to those who have been exploited. So this stuff is, uh, this stuff is a meme. But usually, uh, there are elements within this community that actually take this very seriously and think that like chatters are a uh, provide a fundamental labor for the fucking uh, for the continuation of this stream and blah blah blah, and like therefore should have more active say over the over the kind of content and try to like make it leftist. And the more you are, the more you are in Discord uh, circles, the more you legitimately become that person. 31 months and, and still wait. every I time I like it. joke about shit like this or just it's actively coming. clown on people who, you know, truly believe that that is the way to go and they think that their cause is just, I just cultivate a new, uh, new hater, fan turned hater who is like, Hassan just doesn't get it. I mean, the part about chatters providing content is absolutely true. The part about it being paid is silly. Yes. Of course, chatters create content. This is the medium. The medium is like, the medium is what makes it unique is that like, there is a constant back and forth between me and a stadium full of people. That is like what makes this community unique. That's what makes this type of content unique. Um, the notion that like, this has to be a transactional one, uh, especially when there's like adequate compensation for it is really fucking stupid. Because it's like, you know, it, 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 it dramatically misunderstands like dialectical materialism. It, it, it misunderstands uh, completely what, uh, how like labor works and compensation works. 